Good morning, or should I say Guten Morgen, because today we are going to check out a German beer garden here in the US, and we will have the German, German beer garden. <laughs> Schnitzel, beer, bratwurst, wow, Kratzala. lecker. Let's do it. Before we do that, we're gonna check out the city of Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the first hotel we are staying at in the US since we were lucky enough to stay with a lot of my friends and family. Cost doesn't always equal quality here in the US. I forgot how freaking expensive it is. What did you notice last night? So we're in this hotel in Charlotte. It's not the nicest hotel, but it was in our budget and Phil thinks he's in prison right now. I'm in prison. <laughs> Just cause you use bar soap doesn't mean you're in prison. So we're staying about 10 minutes south of the city, but we're gonna go in and check it out. Let's go. Look at you wearing your red pants today. That's not making it in any video. First time, you're daring, you're getting daring. High five, high five. <laughs> so many people have dogs in the US. It's very noticeable to me this time. Diana says it's a millennial thing. Yeah, no babies, only dogs. Yeah. <laughs> NASCAR Hall of Fame, and you can't do it without Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah, I just found out the NASCAR Hall of Fame is apparently in Charlotte. It's right there, there's a building. I see a couple of cars. We're not going in. I see public transportation, no way. Public transportation. Charlotte's got it. At least one. At least one. So we made it downtown to Charlotte. I like the skyline. So that building is my favorite. It looks like it has a crown on top. And we drove in last night when it was dark and it was lit up. It looks super cool. The city center seems to be, again, not that touristy. It reminds me a bit of a bigger Raleigh area. There's a lot more to eat and a lot more to drink and visit, but it seems still like very much of a working area. And there's not too much going on right now. It's a Saturday, midday. It feels very city-like with all the high-rise buildings. We're in this little park. It's always cool if there's a park surrounded by taller buildings. And the baseball field. One thing you don't see that often in Europe, baseball stadium. Check it out, very nice. Look at all the lodges in the, on the top there where the rich people sit. They have a great view. And also the apartment building behind it. <laughs> they have a good view too. Yeah. We're grilling for you. Is this where the guy with the hot dogs go around? Do you think they have corn dogs? I never had a corn dog before. Probably. Have you heard about a corn dog? Yes, I've heard of a corn dog before. Bucket list item now. Eat a corn dog. I'm just wondering with these market halls, it always seems to be like mainly made for drinking. Does everybody in the US just get hammered all the time? That's what you do on the weekend. Work hard, play hard. I Woo. guess, but uh, with the driving it's so hot. But should we just be drunk all the time? I guess so. <laughs> We're missing out. Like if you're not drinking anymore at all, then like half of the attractions and activities are done. Are just gone for you. <laughs> <laughs> like the fourth one we've seen today. I can't believe it, we just took the train to South End. This is supposed to be like a bar and restaurant area. I'm gonna walk a bit and maybe find yeah. something to eat. There seems to be a lot of Asian food and stuff. Yeah, it looks like a lot of residential here too. I see a lot of condos. Thank you. 
So we rolled up to the German beer garden experience. I'm uh, excited to try this. It is the next day. So they just opened for brunch on a Sunday. They have these huge tanks, which is, I don't know if they actually keep the beer in there or whatever. It's not only like a beer garden and German food. It's also a brewery, so interesting. It's called the Old Mecklenburg Brewery. And Mecklenburg is an area in Germany, I think in the Northeast. Mecklenburg Vorpommern, we have the state now, but yeah, that's what it calls. We're heading in. There are rules. This is uh, pretty German. Oh, yeah, let's see. So we just ordered, and I feel super awkward because I just said kartoffel salad like a pretentious prick. Let me get one order of the Rotkohl and the Bratwurst. <laughs> All right, so our food just arrived and we got two dishes. The first dish we have is a German Bratwurst. It comes with Krautsalat and Rotkohl. We got mustard on the side and also a bread bun, a Brötchen. And the second dish we got is a Wiener Schnitzel style pork schnitzel, which came with potato salad, raspberry sauce and some grilled vegetables. So that looks both pretty good and we'll see if it's super German, if it makes me feel like I'm back in Germany. Das ist Kartoffelsalat. I also got a beer. It's called a Copper here and it's a Düsseldorf style old beer. If you've seen our Düsseldorf video, we've just been there last summer and uh, we had the Füchschen, which is I think one of my favorite beers. So I'm curious if this one resembles that. So cheers. Sorry, Prost. Prost. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so I'm gonna go with the sausage first and I'm curious. Mm. Average sized wiener, I would say. It's crunchy on the outside. It has definitely a strong bite to it. It reminds me of a Krakauer. I think the Krakauer in Germany is kielbasa sausage, right? I think it's better than a regular kielbasa sausage, so very happy with that. Time for the sauerkraut. I'm not a big sauerkraut person. But that's so German. So this is for Diana. Yeah, it's very German. I think it's a good one. It's just not my thing. However, what is my thing is uh, Rotkohl, the red cabbage. I love that stuff. I like it better than the sauerkraut, but uh, they can improve on this one a little bit. I think the sauerkraut's pretty good. It's a little drier, which makes it, I, don't, I feel like it's less strong of a flavor, but it's not bad. I give it an A. The stereotype is Americans don't get bread right, so German Brötchen. I love it. It's good. All right, wir haben ein Wiener Schnitzel hier, although that's more Austria than German. I think a lot of Americans don't know that, though. Here we go. We'll give it a try. All right, looks nice. I like the flavoring. The breading is seasoned nicely, so I like it. The good thing is it's really nice and crispy on the outside. Should we try it with this marmalade? This raspberry, right? raspberry sauce. Is this traditional to have it with a raspberry sauce? Yes. I don't know if I've ever had that. All right. I like this. This is good stuff. Go for the potato salad. It looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah, this definitely looks like mashed potatoes to me. Bavarian style is more vinegar based, right? Yeah. I guess that's what we're trying to go for here with the schnitzel. It's not potato salad. <laughs> it's mashed potatoes. There's like a little bit of vinegar taste in there. So the one we make from my grandma's recipe, better. Mm-hmm, of course. Grandma's the best. Kla. It tastes actually a little bit like a potato salad. It just has mashed potato consistency. So it's a weird child between mashed potatoes and potato salad. I really like the flavor. I'm a huge potato fan. That's why we're we here. We all know. We know you uh, love potatoes. No, I never said that. <laughs> it's huge. Oh Mike, go back in Bavaria. When I try to Bayerisch to speak, then it becomes sometimes Österreichisch or Schweizerisch. It's always a mix. We had a beer garden. We moved to this patio and um, I was this girl and I just wanted to, I got a Coke and a water from the fridge. So uh, I think she asked then if we have an open tap. And there seems to be this thing that you have an open tap in all areas, which is unusual to me because in Germany, um, you have these stalls like they have here and you just, just go, you order like a beer and a schnitzel and they give it to you right there and you pay and you're done with your interaction. It's a little uh, weird to have a tap here because outside where we are right now, it's self-serve. I'm a little confused. This is not how we do it in Germany, but I guess for the US, it's very normal. All right, so it's like two hours later after our food and I'm on beer number two, which I really, really feel. <laughs> However, <laughs> oh, we got some visitors, so introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jared. This is Laura. Hello. 
Hi, we're from Charlotte, hanging out. Jared and Laura are two of our Patreons, our soulmate level Patreons mm -hmm. actually. And since they're from Charlotte and they actually recommended this uh, German beer garden to us, that's why we met up. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. And, and they're all right. Yeah, we're okay. Still <laughs> might need one more beer. <laughs> I might, then I might go to bed. <laughs> so Laura actually has a dual citizenship, right? Half yep. German, half American. Mm -hmm. And these guys plan on moving to Germany. And funnily, a lot of the people I know are even multiple Patreons think about moving to Germany. They inspire us every day to move back home, so it's yeah. great. Well, <laughs> just don't base your decision purely on our... I'm only moving because of Dean and Phil, okay? <laughs> 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 All right, we keep drinking. <laughs> Hey guys, Future Phil here. It was very cool to meet Laura and Jared, our newest Soulmate Level Patreons, and I wanted to take the opportunity and thank our other Soulmate Level Patreons. Big, big thank you to Ricky, Dorian Dino, Jeff Lubick, Tony Sanchez, and Gary and Amanda Day. You are our biggest supporters and we highly, highly appreciate you. Also, after filming this video, Laura and Jared actually launched their YouTube channel. It's called Cobblestone Adventures. We'll link it down in the description. If you're still here and still watching, maybe give them a quick visit and let them know that you come from Deanna and Phil. That would be super awesome. Back to the outro. We're already leaving Charlotte. We just made our way out of the city area and we ended in that nice German Mecklenburg beer garden. Well, it's very cool to meet some of our Soulmate Level Patreons. I hope we can meet more of you in the future. But that was a good ending for our road trip because this is our last day. We're going back home now to South Carolina. Um, chill there for a bit, maybe do another road trip in the near future. Diana's driving, but she's also doing a very awesome job driving this entire road trip for like a combined, I don't know, 30 hours or something like Thank that. Thank you. I'm ready to be back in Germany where you drive me around, you chauffeur me. Yeah, I like to drive. Anyways, let us know in the comments below what you think of Germans eating German food in another country. It's kind <laughs> of a thing that's a little funny, but this time we did it. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our Patreons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!